Yeah, what's going on guys? Seth Spartan here. Nutrition training hormone expert. Boom. For Prometheus HRT Hormone Replacement Clinic. Guys, today, 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 we're going to be doing some myth busting. We're going to be talking about this ridiculous, absurd, and something I used to believe. What am I talking about? You can only absorb 30 grams of protein at a time. Any, If you take more than 30 grams of protein, you're not going to absorb any of it. Your body can't digest it, can't use it, blah, 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 blah. Guys, I don't know who started this garbage nonsense in the first place. I don't know. I don't know where this came from, but this is something that I heard, that all my friends heard, you know, high school, college, and this is something that I actually believed at first when I got into bodybuilding. But the thing is, is that this is pure, absolute stupidity. Why? Because we can see in blood tests that this is not the case at all. So let's talk about this. We'll talk about natural, enhanced, testosterone replacement, HGH replacement, and also things that you can do to increase protein absorption. So let's talk about let's talk about the uh, where this where this comes from. Okay, hopefully where it comes from. But more importantly, I'm going to give you guys right now to also watch this watch this video to the end. But I'm going to give you guys also the truth of the matter, okay? And why we know that this is complete garbage, that this is a myth. So let's do some myth busting here. So the saying, you can only absorb 30 grams of protein at one time. The rest of it goes to waste. It's garbage, right? Now, this started mainly because you had one specific study come out and it said that, you know, uh, if you take a fast-acting protein like whey protein isolate, concentrate is slower, concentrates better, you know, stays in the bloodstream, you get absorption for up to two hours, uh, isolate, you know, only an hour, that's why my proteins concentrate, but that's not what we're talking about right now. What we're talking about is if you take a fast acting, super fast acting protein like whey protein isolate, guess what? They find that you absorb about 10 to 12 uh, grams per hour, okay? So, you know, and then they measure how long it takes, or they measure the amount of time, how long it takes to get through the small intestine. If you guys don't know this, I'm telling you right now, the small intestine is what absorbs protein, is what absorbs amino acids into the bloodstream, okay? So the small intestine, that you know, the long small intestine is what sucks up amino acids. The large intestine does not do that. So what they did was they tracked, you know, how fast you can uptake protein and then how long it takes to go through the small intestine. And they came up with this thing saying that, uh, you know, long story short, if you take anything more than 30 grams of protein, it's a complete waste. There's no point, okay? It doesn't, it, it all goes to waste. Guys, plain and simple, boom. All right, listen up. This could not be farther from the truth. Why? Why, why, why? Let's take, let's take real food, okay? Not just whey protein. <clears throat> this is what we know. If you eat ground beef, steak, pork, different kinds of chicken, fish, what you find is this you find that there are different absorption rates for all different kinds of protein, okay? So if you take protein as a liquid, like whey protein isolate, let's say you take whey protein concentrate, different absorption time. Let's say you eat fish, chicken, beef, pork, casein. There's, in the same way that there's uh, fast, medium, and slow digesting carbohydrates, there's fast, medium, and slow digesting protein. So what would happen? What happens if you eat Let's take the slowest digesting proteins. The slowest digesting proteins, and also they're the best for muscle building because they give you the greatest coverage in the bloodstream, but let's take the slowest. The slowest digesting proteins that we can find are what? Beef and pork. And also if we take the ones not really found in nature, that's gonna be casein. You could have a scoop of casein protein. What do we find? We find this, guys, is that if you eat large amounts of this, you know, if you eat multiple pounds of beef, pork, what have you, what do you find? You find that, that slow absorption, you can take tons and tons of this protein, and guess what, with the slow absorption, you can have almost, I don't wanna say infinite, because that's not true, but you can have humongous amounts of protein absorption because you're utilizing more of the small intestine tract, okay? Does this make sense? Because the whole small intestine, you have those transporters for amino acids. Now, I don't wanna go too far and high that people don't understand English or what I'm talking about here, but the simple gist of the matter is this, the, the, you have the absorption rates, slow, medium, and fast digesting proteins, and you also have the, the human body is not, is not something stupid, okay? It's not, it's not, uh, it, it's not I don't want to say a robot, but it's, it's this, the human body is made by God amazing in the sense that the human body can control 
the rate of digestion, okay? So what the human body we see is that the, pro the body will slow down digestion to absorb more nutrients and it will speed it up when it needs to. Now we find this also with protein, that depending on what protein source, like for example, you eat a steak, your body will slow down your digestion. So it has the more time and the time and the time available to digest the steak and break it down so that you can absorb more protein. So the human, so here's the two problems with, with this ridiculous 30 grams of protein study, garbage, nonsense, repetitive, I don't know who started this, honestly. And it's crazy to just take one study and say, oh, that's it, okay? But what we find, and this is fact, is that the, first and foremost, what we find is fact, the human body controls uh, rate of digestion for protein, fats, and carbohydrates, okay? So that's the first thing. So you can change the absorption rate to give more time. Like if I eat a steak, I'm going to need more uh, more time than if I eat ground beef or other things, okay? So that's the first thing. It will it will uh, slow the rate of digestion so it's longer time. So the second is the first thing I address, slow, medium, and fast digesting proteins, okay? So taking these two factors into consideration, what does this mean? This means is that if you, if you pick a slow digesting protein, like I said, beef, pork, casein, and let's say you... You ate huge amounts. So let's say I ate a let's say I ate a two or three pound steak, a monster steak. Boom. Okay, I love steak. I don't know if you guys can tell, but if I ate it, let's say I ate a two or three pound monster. Boom, monster steak. What's gonna happen? Guess what? My protein, my protein, uh, my protein in the bloodstream is gonna go sky high. Not just because I ate a ton of protein, but also because it's slowing the digestion down so I can absorb more. So. How we know that this is absolute garbage with the 30 grams of protein at one time is that those two things I told you, but the one probably one of the biggest is the third. We see the protein show up in the bloodstream. Okay, so we know that this is not true. All right, so simply, that's, I probably should have started with this point, but the simplest point is that when we consume huge amounts of protein, beef, pork, whatever, what, what have you, what do we see? We see the higher we go, guess what? The higher, the higher the protein is in the bloodstream, which means what? You can absorb way more, almost infinitely more protein than, than a stupid 10, 12, 15 grams per hour that they thought, okay? They took just one type of protein, they said, that's it. No, that's not it, guys. That's just the start, okay? So the more protein you eat, specifically, especially whole foods, you know, you could do this with whey protein concentrate too, or even isolate if you took just large enough amounts. But specifically with real food, um, you could eat pounds and pounds. And I'm not telling people to eat pounds and pounds of meat at one time. Okay, you could have, you know, <laughs> depending on the person, you're going to have some mad indigestion. But the thing is, is that you can just keep increasing. And guess what we see? We see the more protein you eat, the higher the amino acid uh, levels in the bloodstream and urea, which is the um, the the uh, metabolite of protein synthesis. So the higher the higher the intake of protein, especially like beef, pork, these slow digesting, the higher the protein levels in the bloodstream. Which means what? That the thirty grams your body can only use at one time is complete garbage. It's utter nonsense. Guys, says Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy. Boom. Keep questions coming. And guess what? We're out of here. Have a good one.